Alrighty, dark friends. Well, hopefully you've been uh, looking at my segment on my antenna that I just put in the air. Got the uh, Palomar 9 to 1 uh, in fed antenna. I do have the bullet, which is pictured here on the left side of your screen, but I did not use that exact product. I do have their 5 kilowatt ballon, which is a square one. Um, let's see if I can go back in. There you go. That one right there. Um, I have the configuration of 100 feet of coax and 155 feet of wire and no ground counterpoise. Um, that, all the instructions and the extras and potential things are in there. Read more about it. You can go through and scroll through all these and see how they had, for instance, um, 110 foot, 25 foot vertical, 85 foot horizontal, with the ballon two feet of a above ground, tells you where to put the chokes, how long the coax is. So essentially it makes basically an off-center fed and then it shows all the different bands, 160, 80, 40, all the way through the highlighted parts. You can see, you know, the vertical. Um, and at the very, very, very bottom has general notes. Um, you can see where it shows antenna wire length, the uh, where you want to put the chokes along the feed point, which is 30%. You can buy, you know, a little smaller 500 watt choke like this, or they have a three kilowatt choke, or uh, what I did was I had the snap on over the coax beads. If you're going to be low power, they have this really nice little donut you can take and wrap your coax through if you're using like mini eight or 58 or something. Um, I use the, uh, whoa, let's try not to highlight all of it. Well, I guess it's not going to let me. Okay. So bottom line here, not, not the blue above it, 155 feet. Uh, I put eight snap on chokes at about 66 feet on the coax. Gives me a total of about 221 feet where, from where the beads snap on to the very end of my 155 foot wire, which is in an L shape, um, about 70 feet vertical and then the rest of it um, horizontal. That is what I did. Well, let's go over to the uh, computer, the uh, radio and quickly scan through all of the bands um, with the uh, a tuner in line but not it's it's on uh, direct or bypass we're gonna start at six meters um, with this particular um, deal you know it says 10 through 160 and six may also be possible um, the bands are pretty dead I've already scanned them all and they're pretty quiet um, so I've got it turned down 20 watts should be probably more than enough to show bottom of the band you know three to one easily tuned but go towards the top and two to one easily tunable my uh a2k will definitely tune that out no problem so 10 meters pretty flat until you get all the way to that fm that's awesome twelve well no point in scanning there Fifteen, two to one, and going lower. Yes, I'm Mars capped. Of course, I don't have anything that's not Mars capped. Uh, Seventeen, less than a two to one, untuned. Twenty. Okay, quiet spot. 
1.5. So yeah, we're we're good on 20. 30. Two point five, not bad. Forty. Less than a two at the bottom. Less than a two at the top. So that's cool. Uh, let's go to eighty. Down near the bottom. I'm pausing because I'm listening. Very important, of course, right? That does not look too good, but it did tune out. Let's go down here. Four to one. Two point five, so not too shabby on eighty. Uh, One sixty. One point four. One to one. One to one. One to one. Best performance. Untuned. Perfect one to one on one sixty. And uh, I'm happy about that because now I can go QRO on all of it. Okay, so that is the, <clears throat> let's go back over here. So my delicious computer, um, that is the Palomar, go to Palomar Engineering website. Uh, Palomar Engineering is easily searched on, on Google and uh, they have lots of really fantastic products, oops sliding out of zoom here but uh, again this is the this is the one that i ordered um ham radio outlet has some of their products but i think if you're going to want anything over the uh one and a half kilowatts you're going to have to get a hold of them directly um but uh, they seem pretty easy to deal with and their prices are well quite reasonable for five kilowatts and 150 foot chunk of wire and a coax probably a lot cheaper than buying a pre-made and super impressed so now we're gonna go qro well we're gonna make some contacts 100 watts first and then go qro later and see how that goes so catch you later hope you uh find something in this useful in this segment or the last one about the uh, installation of this so we'll catch you later ae7 qt see ya beer 30